In this video, I would like to explain about the autoregulation of the blood vessel which is supplying to the particular tissue. The autoregulation is one of the important uh, physiological function in the uh, cardiovascular system which uh, maintains the constant uh, blood flow despite of uh, the fluctuations in the BP. This is the definition, the capacity of the tissue that regulates its own blood flow referred as autoregulation flow is constant here despite of fluctuations in the blood pressure. Let us see the examples of uh, the autoregulation. So we have kidney, afferent arteriole and deferent arteriole. Kidney is one of the important uh, organ which maintain its uh, autoregulatory process. Baumann's capsule. So this afferent arteriole is afferent arteriole this is efferent arteriole so the afferent arteriole maintain its constant flow despite of wide bp fluctuation yeah the, the bp fluctuation may be 90 to 220 millimeters of mercury despite of wide fluctuation it maintains the constant flow because of auto regulation of its blood vessels and when we look at the general uh, vessels in the body we have blood vessel so this blood vessel maintains its uh, constant the flow despite of the bp fluctuation this is the pressure and uh, here the wall tension this is t and r indicates radius so the radius and the tension normal situation the blood flow here in the systemic uh, circulation mainly arteries and uh, arterioles the flow would be constant despite of fluctuations of the pressure and the the tension is proportionate to the pressure and radius would be decreasing and increasing with the pressure changes. I would be explaining about details in the further. The examples of autoregulation seen mainly kidney, mesentery, skeletal muscle, myocardium, brain and liver. So these are the major organs where the autoregulatory process usually seen. There are two basic theories proposed by the scientists to maintain the autoregulation in the blood vessel despite of uh, fluctuations in the BP. So the one is the myogenic theory and second one is metabolic theory. So the myogenic theory is very important uh, theory. Let us see the myogenic theory is usually supported by the Laplace law. So Laplace law is a geometric uh, the equation which uh, states about the uh, relationship between the uh, pressure tension of the wall and the radius of the wall in case of blood vessel and uh, spherical alveoli. So I would be talking about it in details of Laplace law when I speak about uh, respiratory system. Here importantly so we can write the Laplace law in two ways. The first one is T equal into P into R or when we take of the P, P equal into T by R. So these are the two forms of Laplace law, the one form and second form. In autoregulatory process, the second uh, form of law would be applicable. It has to maintain the blood vessel wall or radius despite of uh, pressure change in order to maintain the constant flow. So the flow has to maintain by increasing or decreasing the radius with the pressure changes and the tension here the pressure changes is proportionate to the, the tension of the wall and inversely proportionate to the radius of the wall. So this form of Laplace law is applicable when autoregulatory mechanism comes into the picture. 
whereas the first form of law usually talks about t the tension in the wall or proportionate to the high pressure times radius so when the contraction of uh, the blood vessel with the sympathetic stimulation so the sympathetic stimulation followed by the contraction of the blood vessel is a example of first form of law it says the tension of blood vessel wall is proportionate to the highest pressure and radius so this is how we can uh, analyze the laplace law so these two forms of laplace law are the same but depends on the uh, situation second form of law is applicable in auto regulatory mechanism and the first form of law is applicable when generalized sympathetic stimulation and uh, lastly the metabolic theory so the metabolic theory of auto regulation is decreasing the flow so here the decreasing flow increases the accumulation of mainly the metabolites so the metabolites metabolites are as we know the carbon dioxide and increasing carbon dioxide increasing h plus ion concentration increasing the potassium ions and uh, lactic uh, acid or lactate so these are the metabolites when increases metabolites in the the blood vessel it brings about the the dilation so the increasing metabolites dilates the blood vessel in order to maintain the constant flow so this is called metabolic theory so these are the theories one is myogenic theory operates with uh, laplace law the second form of laplace law and the second one is metabolic theory and however this auto regulation of both kidneys as well as generalized blood vessels may involved by the help of nitric oxide nitric oxide as well as angiotensin 2 these are the chemicals may involved in auto regulatory process this is all about the auto regulation